It's easy for us in the modern era to feel very stressed out about work, and um, I have been very stressed out about work in my experience too, right? A few years ago, um, work was so important and crucial to you know the success of my life, and um, I developed stomach cramps, and I had to you know go to the medical office during work, and I pulled all-nighters, and everything was really horrible, and um, you know. Uh, to me at the time, it meant so much, but then after a few years, a lot of perspective shifts happened and then I find, wow, like, why did I do that? Why did I burn my health? Why did I burn my mental energy for work? But this isn't kind of a topic to uh, discuss this simply, but uh, I, want, I don't want to write, I don't, I don't want to talk too much about this because this video I just want to give you an inspiration of an idea about why you might be stressed out at work. The thing is we are beings with a lot of different potential, right? So I'm not a professional athlete but if I wanted to I could train to be one, right? And uh, why? Because I have a body and uh, I could be a cook, I could be a chef. Why? Because I have the capacity for it. I could be a scholar if I wanted to, because why? I have the capacity for it, right? I have a brain that thinks. I could be a writer, which I never thought I would be, but then I write every day and I wrote like four books, so I guess I'm a writer now, right? And uh, I could be an artist, although I'm not good at, you know, drawing, it is, it is a motor skill that I can develop, right? And so, Basically, we have all these abilities innate inside of us and there's a lot of potential. Some of those potentials are realized in our life and we have those as the skill inventory that we have. But when it comes to work stress, especially because, you know, you want to succeed in your, uh, you know, position, right? So first of all, people want to get into good companies. People want to get into, you know, Fortune 500 companies, and uh, there's F-A-A-N-G if you're in tech. And uh, for finance, there's all these, like, big firms, right? And for real estate, there's also, like, really big firms, right? People, we all want to kind of, like, equate ourselves to that company's success by joining that kind of a company. So, this is the first kind of a outsourcing our success to an external entity and then you work at, at that company and you need to constantly prove yourself right because yeah it's nice to work at that company but working at that company as a junior you know or an associate is less preferable than being a senior at that uh, company right being the youngest team lead or like the you know a uh, manager with the biggest like profit margins and things like that so we want that internal success now that we're in there, uh, in the company, like internal to with respect to the company. And then sometimes we have those aspirations be fulfilled. You have a really successful year, but then what happens? There's next year, right? And when you succeed a lot the past year, then you have more pressure to perform in the next year, right? It's like companies, uh, you know, uh, growth pro uh, trajectories and uh, projected earnings and things like that. It never goes down <laughs> for stock price to go up. We always look for an upwards trending kind of a graph, right? So this kind of a life makes it very easy for you to tunnel vision into work, thinking that it's the most important thing. But that, I think, is really selling yourself short. It's like saying you're a potato that can only be eaten as fri uh, french fries. But there's so many ways to cook a potato, right? It's like saying you're a baseball that can only be kicked. But there's so many ways to play with a baseball, right? It's like saying you're a fish and you can be only in this part of the aquarium. But you're not, right? You can go anywhere uh, inside the aquarium. And it's like a knife thinking that it can only slice onions. No, the knives are more, they have more utility than that, right? So what I'm saying is you have more potential than all of those inanimate uh, objects or animals combined. 
But when you get tunnel visioned into work and validate your level of success based on just that work, I think that's really, 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 really selling yourself short. So if you're stressed out about work, you gotta remember that you are the one who works. Work doesn't use you. I mean, you have more put, you have, you, work is one way of applying yourself. Work is not you. You are this being with a lot of abilities and entity, like, you know, skills and uh, potential. Work is an expression of that. So that's why you're not just your, you're not just a child of your parents, right? You're not just a human being with two arms and two legs. Or, you know, like uh, you, your body may be different. You're not just this one thing. You're human with all the freedom to be whatever you want to be. Work is an application of you. Work is an aspect of you. internally work the size difference between work and you it shouldn't be like this it should be like this you to work you don't need your specific work that you have in order to be the best usage of your life